Hey there, berries. Welcome to another support game. We're playing first game of the day, Diamond 2. And we are playing uh, with a Carthus. Carthus Center is kind of a standard composition on the bot lane. It's pretty fragile. Both the champions are really, really squishy. But it allows you to have an AD carry uh, still in the game, even though you've got an AP carry. Alternatively, I could have maybe have taken something with a bit more crowd control. Um, let me just do this. Uh, you could have a bit more crowd control to not only help the lay waste to half as his key land, um, but also like keep them around the Carthus passive when the Carthus dies. I don't usually like playing Senna with APs. I keep saying this all the time just because of the vulnerability that we do have on bot side. Just in general, especially with how... Um, What is he up to? With how often junglers come down bot side these days. I'm surprised the Carthus just didn't focus the Galia there. And I do like a good chance to actually play center as well. She's one of my favorite supports to play. He flash. He Q predicted her flash. That was pretty cool. Try to hit like the Galio with that Q while healing the Carthus, but was kind of way out. Carthus has run out of mana. I mean, he's rooted. Unfortunately, I was gonna say unfortunately, Carthus doesn't have mana, but apparently he had enough mana after that. Oh, you son of a! He baited me, man. The Carthus pinged the uh, the MF, thinking that he was gonna cancel his recall, but he didn't. So I miss out a little bit here. But Carthus right now, I think, is still the highest win rate in bot lane. Uh, I'm surprised Riot's done nothing this patch or any patch in the last few to kind of... I mean, Carthus isn't like Giga played. I haven't seen him that often on my SodaQ games, but he has got a... From what I've seen, at least anyway, he has a substantial win rate over other um, other bot laners. Don't want to steal this. No, Vega. I mean, Carthus. Ziggs, I think a lot of the, like the classic APs, I think Vagar's still doing okay, but I think Vagar's build has completely changed though from when I used to play it. It's now um, First Strike, Rod of Ages, because they nerfed Vagar and they made it so like uh, levels are like super, super important on Vagar. So you have to go Rod of Ages on Vagar now, otherwise you can't really do anything. I've got no ward for that bush. Carthus didn't take TP, he went exhaust. Pantheon wants to ulti. He took tower out, Gray. Hey, Carla. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. 
Yeah, I was gonna say like also we haven't really touched on the galley support. I haven't seen a galley support in a super long time. I'm not really impressed either. <laughs> he seems kind of uncomfortable playing it too. So I'm not really sure what the um why the decision was to play that. How did MF die? Well at the end there she died to Pantheon was roaming down. But there's been a lot happening this game already. So yeah. Um, yeah, Gadio took like two turret shots for no reason when he pushed up here. But yeah, there's a lot of AP champions doing really well in an AD carry role, and I don't really see that many complaints about it either. Um, oh, ooh, wait, that actually still hurt. Oh man, my Q is about to come off cooldown. Why are we not fighting this though? Well, this is just going to be quite a, a easy seeming game anyway. Usually when Carthus can get even the slightest lead in bot lane, all of these souls as well. Um, he usually ends up winning the game just because of how much his damage his ulti does after only having a couple of items. Ow. Strangely didn't get that many souls from that last wave though. Might as well just dump a ward in this brush. But hey everyone in the Twitch chat. Hey uh, Bake, hey Sven, hey Sai, hey Stone, hey Twit. I hope everyone's doing it right today. Oh, also in center it seems like the Lethality build is starting to be the meta again. They did nerf um, Navori Quickblades a little bit. Honestly, I don't know what the better build is these days. I don't play center enough. I think... Um, the Umbral Glaive start on Senna gives uh, obviously a lot of extra utility in terms of being able to kill wards and stuff. But I'm not sure about the actual DPS. Yeah, I should have walked into the GPL too then. I was kind of not wanting to walk into GPL, but I think I could have. Okay. I think I'm in trouble. I think I was just outside ulti range. Okay, if I got Java and ulti there, I would have died. Do you have a center build posted anywhere? I have a center mobify guide. I think that center mobify guide is on the Vori quick blade at the moment. I still think that the Vori quick blade build is viable on her. I just don't know if it's the best. I don't know anymore. It's too... it feels kind of too close and if it's too close then maybe Umbral Glaive is just better because then you got the extra utility. It's all kind of a bait really. I need to just play around um... half as passive. Holy... 
Oh, no way, that didn't hit. Oh, no, yeah, I know, I did an oopsie. I'm trying to dodge a Q. I knew the Q is coming off cooldown. I'm like, trying to move up and down to try and dodge it. But... Yeah, if I land that Q here... Oh, that's that going to be enough? Okay, that's fine. We'll go Eclipse first and um, Umbral. Um... But yeah, if I land that key, I'll just try to be smart there, and I think I would get away with it. Because it would mean that the Jarvan would be slowed slightly there as well, and I might be able to get away from another auto attack. How was Kraken set nerfed? Um, she wasn't. It was the Navori Quick Blades was got slightly nerfed. It wasn't a dramatic nerf, or they reduced the amount of cooldown per auto attack, remaining cooldown. But it was like only a tiny bit. Okay, I just wanted an assist. I should have probably have just queued an ally then. But this is like classic League right now. These games right now, I f it honestly just feels like 75% of League games right now are over at this point, right? Like, what can the enemy team do? And the whole game is just literally just being like... Jungle sitting. Jungle is trying to sit bot. It's the meta. And it's been the meta for such a long time. And it's not really being addressed by Riot. And I think a lot of people, myself included, are just getting sick of it. It's just constant fighting down in bot side. It honestly feels like the 2v2 kind of skill matchups just don't exist anymore. Like, there's kind of like a longer laning phases that you, I, I don't know, I just remember like having longer laning phases and game pace being slower and actual 2v2 fights happening down in the bot lane. But that is just like, what jungler can gank bot successfully the, the, the first? And there doesn't seem to be like any breaks to slow down the game. Hey, Mr. Ginger, thank you for the other month resub. Thank you very much. Well, we've got 69 souls. Nice. But yeah, it has, I mean, like bot lane camping. As you just said, Countess has been in in the game for a long time, but I feel like it's it's worse than ever. And I don't like to complain about the game because it's this this game is my reason why I get to do what I want, to, like as for a living. But it's it just feels every game is just the same. Especially I don't think Freak's video that he made a couple of weeks ago helped. Because um, he said in his video that um, something like 99, I might be getting the percentage quite wrong, but like it, it was like 99% of games that had four surrender votes to one um, between 15 minutes and 19 minutes were lost or something like that. That's missing. Carfus doesn't have his ulti. And I don't I think that was a really, really unhelpful thing to say. Because I think the people that have seen that video have kind of like more willing to give up more than ever now that the surrender vote only needs four votes at fifteen minutes. It just feels like the game pacing is just shorter than ever. And, and more people are just willing to give up, it feels like, after that. Yeah, that Zoe does have seven kills, that's why she nearly one sh well, on comboed me. Oh, that guy's obviously inting at that point. But 
how do you stop that? Well, funnily enough, like today, Dota released a massive update where they increased the map size by 40% and increased like added teleports and stuff. I think... I don't know. They need to make it so that junglers shouldn't be able to so easily come down to bot lane, gank it level 2, level 3, and, and be on like 4 HP. I think jungle sustain is a real problem. Um, I think that I feel like most junglers, unless they're clo that their clear is slow anyway, should like generally be forced to do at least one recall before they can gank a lane. That's how I would like it at least anyway. I don't know if that's like the right mindset to have or whatever or, or an actual legit potential answer. But the jungle gets changed like every season pretty much. Like this season they got given Pokemon. And it feels like the majority of seasons jungle is the one that gets revamped the most. But it always seems to be the same. Like jungle is just always just seems pretty strong. No matter what season. She flashed over my W. Wow, I swear my auto attack would cancel there. Like, I'm not saying like jungle shouldn't have like any impact in the game, but I just feel like it's just. It's so common now that a jungler ganks level 2, level 3. I mean, their bot lane is 0 17 at 18 minutes. is definitely one of them more. Why me? What? Wait, what? I have a hundred souls at 18 minutes. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, I think this is the most souls I've had ever at 18 minutes, like in a legit game. But I don't know. I like. I remember, like in in the, you know back in the early days of League. I remember the laning phase being a real kind of you know you versus your lane opponent. At least for like a decent chunk of the time before like there were other people like roaming down, junglers getting involved too much. Do you know what I mean? Like you had that little dance with your with your enemy laners for a little bit, and sometimes you like got to actually fight them two v two without having to worry about the, the the enemy jungler or the enemy mid lane assassin roaming down. I think probably that I know Dota's increased their map size, but forty percent. I think honestly, League could probably use it so that. The, the width of the map is, is like the map is wider like the I don't know if, how that's, if that's possible at all but just like the general lane size staying roughly the same but making the jungle like longer I don't know or maybe like have like some of the jungle camps like back here like further away from the, where the, the tier 1 turrets are or something
they have like moved like a lot of the jungle camps further away. So if they do go into lane and camp, then it's like takes them even longer to get back into like their jungle from where they were. I don't know. It's just like some random suggestions. I'm not saying like that's the answer, but I just feel like the pathing. Or maybe like just generally movement speed while walking in the jungle is like reduced by 20% but for the first 10 minutes of the game or until, the, until plates are off turrets or something. Like actually just physically make the, it force that you move, you just you can't path a wade in the jungle as, as quick just to slow that down a bit. Make it marshy. Yeah, make it literally make it marshy for 10 minutes or something. Literally all movement speed reduced by 20% while, while walking in the in the jungle. Oh, I'm dead. What the f- I didn't even see the Q hit me. Yeah, I'm sorry it hurts. Make their movement speed not in the jungle cut in half. I don't know. But I feel like something like that needs to happen. Just to, just, just to slow it down a little bit. So I, I like, I don't know, I, I like, like the little battles that happen across the map, the little 2v2s, the little 1v1s that happen in the lanes, and then it's like then, you know, as we get closer towards mid game, then, you know, the fight starts spiraling. That's why they nerfed, um, they nerfed supports, because the supporters were roaming too early, and then it was like interfering with mid and the jungles and stuff, so they nerfed that, but they haven't done the same to jungle. So, so they're like supports, you have to stay there, but like jungle, but we'll let you just gank whatever lane you want at two minutes into the game. I don't wanna be here. Do you wanna go in? Come on then. No, uh, there's a Zoe. Okay. I'm wasting a couple of my abilities here. Zoe around. That Zoe is quite good. Nice. We could have probably have ended the game. I mean, Pantheon's ending right now. Yeah, we're kind of stupid to be doing Baron instead of looking to end, to be honest. Chair have his breakfast. It's a chunky chair. How many stacks has he got? He's 13 stacks. Four, four minions chomped, one monsters. So he, he can actually get one more stack off a minion. That's kind of insane, actually. But he wants to wait 30 seconds to get another stack.
14 stacks on Cho. Wait, they got a GP. Oh yeah, there was a GP ult on the bot lane, wasn't there? Well, that was a game. I don't know. Think I don't think anyone learned anything from that, and we got to rant about junglers for a bit. But it was alright, I guess. Can't really ask for much more than that. It was a nice flash from Carthus to secure the kill on MF early on the laney phase. But I don't know. I don't know. Even though that game's like a twenty-six minute game, it just feels like. You know, I think the real problem is is that laney phase is like. A million miles per hour and then it's like well it's still the objectives are still spawning at the same time right so it's then it's like the mid game it slows right down because it's like once you've taken down all the tier one turrets at like 14 minutes into, into the game 14 15 minutes into the game you might have a herald spawning at some point between then and uh baron you might be able to get a dragon but like that's the only thing you can safely like fight for the rest of the time it's like literally you just twiddling your fingers waiting for like the Baron to spawn and get in order to actually do a good push into the enemy base. So either they keep how fast laning phase is and then just bring in a Baron at like 15 minutes, 17 minutes, 30 or something like that. Or they need to slow down the laning phase because there's this weird awkward like disjoint where it's like super 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 fast laning phase and it's just like suddenly it's just like well we can't do a huge amount now for the next five minutes so we gotta wait. And that feels like such a long, like a long time considering how fast the first kind of like 15 minutes of the game is. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I would ideally like them slow down the laning phase, honestly. But I think game, I think people want games to be quick, uh, quicker these days. I think um, people are very over the fact that games used to be like one hour, 17 minutes long. It wasn't uncommon back in like season one, season two, that games used to last about an hour long. And then over time, it's like gone down to 50 minutes, 40 minutes. Now I think we're around about at roughly around about 26, 27 minutes for an average e uh, game at this ELO. I think it's around about 28, 29 in like bronze or something. What's the longest match I ever played? Don't know for sure exactly. It would have been around about that 70 to 80 minute mark back in like season one or something. Games could go on for a very long time because Baron wasn't as strong as it is. Um, there was no Elder Dragon. Dragons were just give just only gave gold back then. So like if you were full build, it, it didn't really give you anything. Um, Baron gave you like AP stats and stuff, but it wouldn't buff the minions. So there would be a lot of meta champions that would, like Anivia for example, that could just do wave clear from a safe range. You could clear out the whole wave and then just stand under, under the turret. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I need like two minutes. Two minutes BOB and then we'll do, we'll do another game. Um... Here, have some casino night. <laughs>